Hey, what's going on guys? Cam here from Edmunds Woodshop. Today, we're gonna go over how to align the mirrors on our Ohmtech laser. So grab your painter's tape, your eight millimeter wrench, and let's get started. So before we begin, we wanna ensure that we change the power settings to something that won't burn the painter's tape that we use to align the laser. So I have this controller and to change mine I will just click on max power settings and I'm going to adjust mine down to its lowest setting which for me it's 15. Anything less than 15 won't fire. So I'm using these toggle arrows switches to change it to 15 and then I hit this ZU button to drop it down. I want these two numbers to match. Go ahead and use the arrow keys to change it to 15. And then hit enter. And you can see down here to max power, it's changed it to 15%. Yours might be 10%. You'll just have to see what it is for you. To start the alignment process, we're gonna start with the mirror that comes right after the tube right here in this corner. We are now at the back of the laser. I'm opening up the back door. Now for this alignment process, you're gonna need some masking tape or painter's tape because we are going to place a piece over the mirror frame right here at the opening where there is a circle and we're gonna fire a pulse. So we're gonna place a piece of tape over this frame's hole. You want to try and make an impression around that hole with your finger so you can kind of get an idea of where that pulse is going to hit. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to see where that pulse is in reference to this frame. So I'm going to fire a pulse in three, two, one. Now I'm not sure if you can see that black dot, but it's not directly in the center and that's okay we can move as long as it's somewhere in the general area we will be okay we can move on to the second mirror so before we move on to the second mirror one thing to note is that these adjustment screws that are on the first mirror will control the angle of the laser that hits the second mirror so we want to adjust the angle of this mirror to see how it hits that hole right there on the second mirror. So let's go ahead and take this tape off the first frame. We're gonna grab a new piece of tape. We're gonna go on the other side and we're gonna put a piece of tape on this hole, which is the second mirror frame. So we're now back in front of the laser. Go ahead and close your door for the tube. Open your lid here and then go ahead and bring your rail down so you can access the second mirror right here. So one thing to note is that I moved the rail all the way to the forward position because we're going to put tape on this frame of the second mirror to cover that hole. We're gonna fire a pulse. We're then gonna move the rail all the way to the rear position. We're gonna fire a pulse once more and we're gonna see where those pulses line up. So go ahead and put the tape on the second hole. Go ahead and make an impression with your finger. We're gonna fire a pulse in three, two, one. Let's take a closer look. That's pretty close to center, okay? Keep that in mind. We're now gonna move the railing to the far rear position. Moving the railing to the far rear position tape is still on there. 
I'm going to go ahead and fire a pulse in three, two, one. Now let's move the railing back to see where those pulses line on top of each other. I'm going to take the tape off and let's inspect it. So you can see that those pulses aren't exactly on top of each other. So to adjust that, we're going to go back to the first frame. So we're now back at the first frame and I brought over the tape from the second mirror and I actually wrote a couple notches. All right. So if you look at this first notch, that was our first pulse. If you look at our second notch, that was our second pulse. And you can see it's a little to the right. So what I want to do is move this pulse so it's directly over the first pulse. To do that, we look at the adjustment screws on the first mirror. All right. So this adjustment screw is going to be your up down. This is going to be your left right, which is probably what we're going to use. And this is going to be your diagonal. Chances are you can get your adjustments done with these two adjustment screws. Now, in order to loosen these up, they have a little bolt right here. You're going to need a five millimeter wrench to loosen it. Now, as I loosen this, something to keep in mind is that a little turn is going to cause a dramatic change in the angle. So, what I would do is I would turn it maybe an eighth of a turn or less, and then go back and put the tape on the second mirror and run the same process with the pulse, checking the rear and front positions. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this. And it actually kind of turned with it, so I'm going to leave it there. It barely turned. I'm going to go back and I'm going to check the pulse. Alright, so I went back and I checked the pulse on the second mirror after I made just the very slightest adjustment on this adjustment screw. So. I brought the tape over so I could show you. And do you see the difference? This one, you could see the difference in the pulses. One is left to each other. And then this one is two pulses. That's actually right on top of each other. That very minor adjustment on this adjustment screw made that difference. So this is all part of the tedious process. Now we can move on to the third mirror. So we're back in front of the laser, and now that we have aligned the second mirror in the front and the rear position, we now have to align the third mirror in all four corners. So we do that by doing the process that we were doing before, which is put a piece of tape around the opening of the mirror frame. So we're going to go ahead and put a piece of tape right here. Go ahead and make an impression with your finger so you can see where the hole is. And then one thing to note too, I'm going to pull this camera away. We have to make sure that our nozzle is in the far corner, okay? It doesn't matter what corner that we start from, but it has to be in one of the corners. So this one is all the way in the front right corner. We're going to fire a pulse in three, two, one. And we're just going to take note of where it's hitting. All right, so if we zoom in and we look at the tape, we could see the outline or the imprint of the circle. And then we could see where the pulse had hit in comparison to where the center is. So if we look at it, we're kind of high and to the right. And we want to make an adjustment to the left and maybe a little bit down. We want to hit about here. So in order to do that, we're going to back up here. We're going to go to the second mirror. I'm going to move the gantry rearward a little bit so I have access to the screws. I'm going to make adjustments to this far lower screw. 
because that's our left and right and I'm gonna make adjustments to this upper one because this is our up and down. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'm gonna start making adjustments with my five millimeter wrench and this far lower screw. I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise to go left just a little bit. All right, and then we needed to go down some too, right? So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna go clockwise just a little bit and then see how that goes. So now we're gonna go to our, back to our third mirror. We're gonna place a new piece of tape on. All right, we're gonna make an impression with our thumb. Bring the gantry back down. We're gonna fire a pulse in three, two, one. And we're gonna look at it closely. Okay, looks like we're still a little bit high and maybe I went too far to the left. So now we're gonna adjust the screws again. So now to go right, we're gonna go clockwise and we're still gonna go forward some clockwise on this upper one. Okay. Put on a new piece of tape and we're going to see where that pulse now hits. In three, two, one. Let's try it again. Three, two, one. All right. So that looks pretty close to center to me. I don't know if you can see the outline of that hole. So now that we got that corner in center, we're going to move the nozzle in all four corners to see where that pulse hits. We want to make sure they all fall up on top of each other. So we're going to start off by checking the left front corner. And then I'm going to zoom in here, see if we can catch a glimpse. We're going to fire a pulse in three, two, one. Looks like it falls right on top of each other. All right, now we're gonna move to the rear left corner. Same thing, see if I can get back here. I'm gonna fire a pulse in three, two, one. Right on top. Zoom out here. Move the nozzle to the rear right corner. Zoom in. Fire a pulse in three, two, one. And all of them line up on top of each other. So now that we got mirror two to mirror three perfectly aligned in all four corners, we want to align the laser beam so that it's perfectly up and down or vertical with the nozzle. We don't want the laser beam to be hitting the rim. So before starting the vertical alignment for the laser beam to the laser nozzle, we want to look at these adjustment screws and we notice that they're kind of flipped as compared to the mirror frame over here. But they still move in the same directional orientation. So this is your left right, this is your diagonal movement, and this is your up down. All right? So one of the first things that we want to check is to see if the laser beam is hitting the tip of the nozzle at all. If it is, it will cause double lines in your designs. So we can check that by taking a piece of painter's tape and just placing it on the bottom and making an imprint with your finger because we want to see where that laser beam hits in comparison to the surrounding hole. So we're gonna fire a pulse in three, two, one. We're gonna peel it off, and I'm gonna show you right here. So we could see that the laser beam is hitting center to the nozzle, and it's not hitting the tip at all. So that's good. Now we wanna check alignment. All right, so to check alignment, I'm gonna use this scrap piece I'm going to place it underneath the nozzle. 
I'm going to bring the bed as close to the nozzle as I can without touching. I'm going to fire a pulse in three, two, one. And I'm going to back it off about two inches. And we want to see where that pulse hits in comparison to the first one. I'm going to bring the camera up close to show you where it hits. We're going to fire a second pulse in three, two, one. And it looks like it falls right on top of each other. So we got lucky. But again, to do your adjustments, left, right, up, down, diagonal. This one is probably the easiest out of all of them. You just want to make sure that your laser beam is not hitting the cone of the nozzle. All right, so we just went over how to align your mirrors to your Ohmtec laser. Just a couple notes, your second to third mirror is probably gonna be your most longest, most tedious adjustment out of all of them. So be prepared to have some patience and spend a little bit of time trying to get that laser beam centered to your uh, mirror frame. Second note, you probably used a lot of painter's tape pulsing and trying to get everything aligned with your mirrors. And what that does is it leaves a lot of residue on your mirrors and on your lens. So make sure you take your lens out, give it a thorough cleaning, Make sure you give your mirrors a thorough cleaning because it will really affect your quality of cut and engraving when you're done. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try my best to answer all questions. If you're curious about the Omtech lasers, I'll leave my affiliate link in the description box. But for now, this has been Cam with Edmonds Woodshop. I'll catch you guys next time.